We're back again. Mm -hmm. Do not be this fucking guy, blood. I swear to God. If only bookies and betting shops, you know, Lad Brooks, William Hill, Coral, Paddy Power and that. I swear to God. My get rich quick scheme would be to bet on the downfall of people's relationships and that. You see, when you study human behavior and you watch and you analyze and you recognize patterns of human behavior, you almost become a fucking psychic. Yeah. Now, I might not be able to pinpoint the fucking day that they break up, but I guarantee you, give it 12, 18 months. And maybe that's too much time. Maybe I'm being too generous. Maybe I'm playing it too safe. These lot are going, she's going to break up with this you. She's going to dump this you, blood. When you pedestalize a gyal, when you put her on a pedestal, when you look at her like she's a fucking celebrity, she is going to fucking leave you, blood. Especially in, in, in today's day and age, and that when girls have got so much fucking options, blood. You, 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 you are working at a disadvantage putting a girl on a pedestal, blood. My man's acting like she's the only girl in the world, blood. When you treat a girl like, oh my God, you're the best thing ever and that. She looks at, I don't know if it's a conscious thing or subconscious. It's probably a subconscious thing. When you treat a girl, go on a date with a girl and say to her, you are the best looking girl I've ever been out on a date with. See how that fucking date goes, blood. Unless she sees you as a 10 out of 10, then you're all right. Yeah, it's, unless she sees you as high level, then you're all right. But if she sees you as average and you tell her, that this is, you, you're, um, the girl is the best girl, that you, the prettiest girl that you've been on a date with, blood, you are confirming, you are affirming that you're just an average guy. And why did, if a girl is truly an 8, 9 or 10 out of 10, why is she dating average guys for? If only, if fucking only Paddy Power and Coral and William Hill and Ladbrokes and all that was allowing people to put bets on people's relationship status and that and when they're going to dissolve, Blood, I would be a fucking millionaire. Forget the property thing, blood. Forget it. Give it 12, 18 months. These lot, they're done, blood. Like I said in previous videos, talking about people who are drug dealers and that. Um, there's an imaginary sand timer by a drug dealer's head. He might have 10 months. He might have a run of uh, 10 years. At some point, you're going to get caught, blood. Or you're going to end up dead. One of the two. It's the same thing with relationships. 99.9% .9 of relationships, they don't go the distance. They don't even make it, especially nowadays. They don't even make it 10, 15 years, let alone they don't make it until death. Most marriages don't make it until one of the people unfortunately pass away. I met a couple the other, well, about a year ago, uh, Pat and John, old white people and that. They've been married for 60 years, blood. Most marriages will not last 60 years. Even if the people then were going to live to 200 years old, most marriages will not last that long. I'm just going to see if I can find the comments on this post. Uh, man, them, don't be that guy, blood. Because your girl is just going to see you as a fuck. What they say, treat her like a celebrity and she's going to treat you like a fan. Yeah, let me just find this. And I can guarantee you, yeah, you see you, you see your brethren, you see your dad, you see your uncle, you see your, your, your cousin that you call, that's a man. 90% of the time when there was a breakup between the guy and the gal is because the guy started acting weak, my brother. When you start acting weak, the reason why most girls leave most men, the reason why most relationships dissolve and, and, and people break up and that is because the guy starts acting weak, blood. Weakness is the biggest contributing factor to the reason why women break up with men. The hell is this post, blood? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Let me go for the comment section. One sec, one sec, one sec. Right. So there's one guy. Obviously, I ain't going to say no one's name and that, but he said, putting a woman on the pedestal is bad news, bro. And obviously, a lot of gal, obviously, these, these girls do not know what the fuck they want, fam. This guy has said, because I believe, because this guy, I've seen him post up a few things on this same post. Yeah, leave a few comments on this same post and that. To me, he's very red pill aware. I believe... And obviously, it's a good thing in that he's been educated by the red pill and the manosphere community in that. But the way this guy speaks, I can tell he's very red pill aware. If YouTube never existed and that, this guy would not be saying this stuff. That, that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying. I can tell by the way a man speaks, the sort of language and jargon he uses. Yeah, he's red pill aware. He's binge watched a lot of YouTube videos, which is good. I'm not taking nothing away from no one. And that. 
But these girls are so fucking deluded. Other comments um, in this comment section, the girls are like, I wish a man, I wish my boyfriend would treat me like this. I wish a guy would treat me like this. Bullshit. Yeah, they might like it for a week. They might like it for a month. But at some point, women need a chase, blood. When you're too easy, women, they just discard you. They don't want to move on. They like a challenge, blood. I guarantee you, ask your people them right now. Ask yourself this question. The girls that you didn't give a fuck about, how long did those relationships last? And the girls that you loved, you, you put them on a pedestal. Did you even get a chance to go the distance with that girl? I guarantee you, the chicks that you didn't give a fuck about or whatever, they were running after you, they were chasing behind you, you probably had the longest relationships or the longest dating with them. And the girls that you put on a pedestal, the girls that you were running after, you probably didn't even get the fucking date. You probably didn't even get close to her, fam. Just about get a peck on the cheek, blood. That's the way it goes, unfortunately. This, this whole mating thing, it's, it's, a, it's a ritual, isn't it? This is how it goes, blood. Anyway, girls are coming underneath the comment section trying to get onto this, this same mute that I said is red pill aware. Let me find it. One chick was like, ah, oh, where, where's the fuck that fucking... Oh, who hurt you? Shut the fuck up. I hate when girls say that, ah, oh, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Blood, everybody has been hurt. Unless you're... There's maybe 2% of people that have never been in a relationship or they never they just don't give a fuck like that. Most people have been hurt. I've been hurt in a relationship before. You've been hurt in a relationship before. Your mum, your dad, your cousins, your children will get hurt. Everyone, most people on planet Earth have been hurt by someone. It's normal. So I don't know why this girl's talking about who hurt you, who hurt you, who hurt you. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, one chick was like, need my man to be obsessed with me like this. Bullshit. Bullshit. I responded back to her saying, once your man starts obsessing with you, um, once your man starts obsessing, you will kick him to the curb after a while. Women love the chase. And once the chase is over, she starts moving on. Yeah, a couple people liked it as well. You damn fucking right. Others, obviously, some other dumb girls are coming underneath that girl's comment. The one that said, leave my man to be obsessed with me like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust, trust. And then, like, you know, like the hand clapping emoji and all that nonsense. Anyway, one thing I don't like here about, you know, all of these modern women dating podcasts and that, yeah? The one thing I don't like about them, and the one thing they never discuss, they talk about, oh, 75% of women, maybe in America, but 75% of divorces and um, marriages end up in divorce, yeah? And, or whatever in it, yeah, or, or women initiate 75% of the divorces in America, um, in, in marriages. So let's say 75% of women initiate divorce in a marriage, whether it's in America or the UK, but they don't get to the crux they don't, they don't discuss why these women are, are, are filing for divorce, blood. It's because the men act weak, blood. When you start acting weak, your woman loses a, a taste for you. She don't want to be around you, blood. A lioness does not want to have a, le a weak lion in her pride, fam. You always got to stay strong. You always got to stay in your masculinity, blood. The day you start, that there's going to be a decline. The woman's going to start running a relationship and taking over. And it's going to kick you to the curb. Before that, she's going to cheat on you with your best friend, maybe your fucking dad, blood. You always got to stay strong. All these people, it's like they can't understand why these women are leaving these men. Women do not leave strong men. Women only leave weak men, blood. Think about it. When you started acting weak, my brother, did your girlfriend leave you? The answer is yes. And when you were strong, when you was running the relationship, was she by your side? Yes. It's so simple. It's so simple, man. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. I don't know. But anyway, one thing I've noticed, I'll make a bold statement and say women like getting treated like shit. There's going to be girls that are just going to disagree. My girl watch this and disagree and that. But the guys that treated them like shit, they stayed and stuck with them the longest. Ain't that funny? And the guys that put them on the pedestal, they discarded their blood club. It's madness. It's madness. But these people in these modern women dating podcasts and that, they never um, discuss why these women are leaving these men. They start acting weak. I think that, Amber, was it Amber Heard or whatever? The woman that, um, with the Johnny Depp situation or whatever, really. Allegedly, she, she took a dump on his fucking, his side of the bed and that. Yeah, I think she even cheated on him. This is what happens when, when men start acting weak. Women, they, they, they will disrespect you. They will rob from you. They will steal from you. They will set you up. They will cheat on you. Look at all them times where you hear about them little stories where the woman tries to get the man killed for the insurance money. 
when a woman has no use for you, she will discard you. So certain women, I ain't promoting this. Don't get too sick. I ain't promoting this. There's a few small percentage of women that I think, well, boy, he's... I mean, I'm a, I am I have no interest in him, so he's better off dead to me because, boy, if he dies, <laughs> I ain't promoting nothing. Don't get interested, bro. If he dies, then, yeah, I'll get 100, 200 grand. So, you know what? I'll do my best to discard him. I, I'm, I have no use for you. Just know, yeah, if your woman's trying to get you killed, yeah, just know she's cheating on you. <laughs> just know she's cheating on you. So, man, them, man, them for stay strong, man. Like I said before, a lioness does not want a weak lion around her. And this is why I truly believe, I truly believe, sometimes when women don't let the baby dad see the children, it's because she doesn't want that weakness around her children. Women, why do you always think, yeah? Have you ever noticed mums love to brag about how big and strong their sons are and that? Like, their son could be 12 or 13 years old. If their son is 12 or 13 years old and he's six foot, the mum will run around and tell everyone. I go to these tenants' house and they're like, oh, my son's 14, he's fucking six foot two and that. Why, why, are you telling me, why are you telling me about his height for? Why are you telling me about how tall he is? I don't give a fuck. Why are you telling me about that for? I never ask. I just ask, like, how old your children are and that. And it's just to get the conversation going. I never go around asking, how short is this person? Or how, how, how fat they are, what their educational level is, isn't it? They always need to be bragging about um, how, how big and strong their sons are or whatever, really. So anyway, women want their sons, especially their sons, they want their sons to be big and strong and that. Yeah? So they don't want their sons about around a weak man. The lioness doesn't want the, the cubs around a weak lion blood. It's the same thing. So I truly believe when men start acting weak, they don't just say, oh, you're not seeing your sons and that or your daughters and that, your children, to be spiteful. I think it's a subconscious thing. They don't want their children around weak men. Because it, it's, like, it's like they're going to get infected. Middle class parents who are truly like middle class, they speak the Queen's English and that. They don't want their children hanging around with no working class kids, you know. You know why? Because they feel like the working class children will infect their children. It's the same thing with the weak men and the children. Women do not want their sons around weak men because they don't want their sons to be weak. No woman wants her son to be, to be weak. Every woman wants to have big and strong sons. There's one picture of fucking, um, I saw of um, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, where it, the, the, the mum was in the middle and she had two, obviously, Andrew, Andrew and Tristan Tate standing beside her. I showed my, my girl and I said, look, this is every woman's dream. Every woman wants to have a couple of sons who are big and strong, like fucking bodyguards and that. Uh, they, no, no woman, women don't want to be around weak men. Women don't want to reproduce with weak men. Women don't want to have weak children. Women want to have sons who are big and strong. And subconsciously, she thinks if this guy is around her children, think about it. You are what you hang around with. If you're acting like a weak, if you're a weak man, then if you're around your children, they're gonna be weak as well. So, anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Don't be this guy, man. Don't be putting no girl on no fucking pedestal and that blood. If you want to <laughs> um, max out and, and, and lengthen the amount of time you got with a gal and that blood, yeah, you got to stay in your, your masculine energy and that, yeah, you got to be the leader in it, yeah. I tell you the best way, yeah, to get dumped by your girl. If any of you lot ever want to get rid of your girl because you're done with her but you don't want to break her heart and that, start acting weak. Start putting her on a pedestal. Start taking all these pictures and that. Start sending, like, putting love heart, in, yeah, like, like on the screen. Uh, is it the love hearts in the eye emoji, all that nonsense and that? Now, why the fuck? Why the fuck are you even doing that? You're a grown ass man, blood. Why are you still using these stupid ass emojis and that? You think your granddad will be fucking using stupid ass emojis, blood? If you ever want to get rid of your girl, tell her how much you love her. Call her six times a day, although you fucking live with her. Um, post her up on on Instagram all day long. Cry, yeah. Do all that kind of nonsense and that. Go go get your nails done with your girl and that and see if she don't friends on and cheat on you and, and dump your blood clot ass, yeah? Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, man.